Yard. Somebody has robbed this 4.3 for its time and chain. And various parts of the injection. This four wheel drive truck. Interior is pretty much gone in it. Here today. Looking for a fuel pump, looking for Buick Skylarks, Chevy Cavaliers, Oldsmobile Achievers, Grand Dams, and Sunfires. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, here's one that's interesting. A uh, 92 Chevy Lumina. It is variable fuel on a factory sticker on the back of it. Variable fuel. I'll get a better shot of it when I can come around on my camera. Well, I believe we have found our culprit. This is a 98 Pontiac Grand Dam. Uh, got the 3100 V6 in it with the VIN code M. M is that 3100 VIN code. I don't know if you can get that on it. I can't tell if I got the camera angled right or not. But, uh, yeah, so according to my interchange list, uh, 98 Sunfire 3.1 VIN code M. That's the interchange. Uh, the only thing is my car is white and this one's blue. I hope it'll work. Okay, I'm going to see can I find another pump because I didn't realize that the hoses were part of the pump and uh, couldn't cut them. But, uh, Either way, if not, I'll get by this pump and freaking, yeah man, just take it apart, whatever. Alright guys, later. Alright, okay dokie, that's what it should look like, it should have all the lines coming out of the pump actually attached to it. I even snatched the filter, don't know why, I don't really need it. If I do, I'll buy a new one. There's the old pump I had cut the lines off of, I don't know if you can see it in there somehow, but Either way, we'll walk around the yard, see what we can find interesting around here. We'll tag along with me, we'll go. This is interesting. We gathered up parts for the Cavalier. I got an air box, because the air box on ours has got a hole in it. And I got a uh, belt. I'm not sure if that belt's the right one. I found it laying next to the car I just took the pump off of. So, I'm going to take the one off of this car that's already on that I know is right, and we'll see. See which one's better and I'll get it. Well, here's a neat vehicle just sitting out here to die. 70 model step side Dodge pickup truck. Really not a bad truck. Frame solid. And I mean solid. Body solid. No rust along the doors there. No rust at the rocker. Seems to be a bit of a brush in the floor pans, but the rest of it man doesn't seem like a bad truck I think somebody want to restore that four wheel disc brakes oh, it had a V8 in it size of the slugs I said 318 oh. yeah it's a body mount gone bad Ain't no big deal. Could have fixed that. Here's another neat one too. It's old Jeep Wrangler inline six level 4.0. Hope nobody mess with my tools. Mm. Be a nice specimen for a rebuild. Looks like it's already been rebuilt. Jeep Renegade. Man, it's a shame to see things like this sitting out here. That'd be a good bogger. Yeah, 
hell of a bogger. Now this is a damn shame. Ford Ranchero. Looks to be a 302. Two barrel carburetor. 1970 models, what they got it labeled as here. Rather solid little truck other than the big old dent in the door. Tail light missing. Man. I'd like to see that car on the road. Pretty solid too. Seriously, man. Wouldn't that be a tough looking ride? Watch out for my wheelbarrow. And back to the variable fuel 92 Lumina. Come over here to take a, another good look at it before I left. Everything seems to be the same. Interior is that peanut butter Chevrolet you like to use. I actually like that color. This car's actually got a nice tape deck in it. Sony tape deck. But I was looking up here and it says methanol fuel. This vehicle may be fueled with a methanol fuel mixture like gasoline or other fuels. Methanol is poisonous. Cause headaches, blindness, death, blah blah blah. Methanol can enter your skin, your body through your skin faster than gasoline will. Yada yada blah. But anyway, just kind of showing you guys this. Looks to be a factory. Uh, methanol conversion. Alright guys, have a good one.